your first alert weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. Good Wednesday to you. We will be varying with our cloud cover out there today, ranging from partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies. We're also going to be tracking the isolated chance of a shower out there moving from offshore onshore as we have a little disturbance just off to our east that could bring in a stray shower all the way even into the PD and the border belt. So we're sitting at a 20% chance of shower for today. We'll bump it up to a 30% chance overnight and in through the day tomorrow as some more of that moisture streams in off the Atlantic along the east coast. We'll see more clouds out there at times for your Thursday. But a cold front moving through, keeping the chance for a few showers into the late afternoon and evening hours. You can see not a washout by any means will actually give us some drier air coming in behind it to start clearing out those skies as we head Thursday evening into Thursday night. And those skies will begin to clear out from west to east. As that front pushes through the area during the day tomorrow, we're holding on to the warmth that we're going to be seeing out there today. We'll actually tack on a few degrees to the highs for your Thursday afternoon. Behind that front, though, much drier air will begin to move in. You can see our rain chances today and tomorrow only sitting at a 20 to 30 percent chance. But with that front pushing off to the east Thursday night, skies clearing out into early Friday morning and high pressure building in out of Canada coming in for the upcoming weekend. A big drop in the temperatures is coming our way, especially noticeably for Friday where the cooler air is being pushed into the area. So it's going to be a bit breezy out there with those highs in the mid to low 60s, despite seeing plenty of sunshine. Today we'll see some occasional peaks of sun, partly sunny to occasionally mostly cloudy skies. Highs will reach the low 70s, all area wide, right around 72, plus or minus one or two degrees. We do have the chance for an isolated shower, a little bit of drizzle straight through the afternoon. We'll hold that chance even into the overnight hours where we drop to the mid 50s inland and upper 50s along the Grand Strand. So another relatively mild night in store for us, adding on a few more degrees to those highs that we saw out there today. We've been seeing some great sunrise and sunset pictures. Make sure you submit the best of the best of any of your weather photos to WPDEweather at gmail.com. You have until the 15th to submit those. The best of the best will make it into the 2014 weather calendar. We'll start letting you know what pictures made it come the 18th. So your seven day forecast, I'd like to say that looks pretty good heading into your weekend. If you ask me, despite it being a little bit on the chilly side in the early morning hours and pleasantly cool and a little unseasonably cool for the afternoons for your Friday, Saturday, Sunday, with those highs in the mid to upper 60s through the weekend, we'll hold that sunshine and upper 60 degree temperature through your Monday Veterans Day. Temps in the morning are on the up and up a little bit as well, but still in the mid to upper 40s. Inland areas, you will see that big drop as well, going from 77 Thursday to 63 for the high on Friday, 66 on Saturday. We will make it barely back to that 70 degree mark on Sunday with plenty of sunshine. Saturday morning, though, be prepared for the coldest morning of the next seven, where our wake-up temps will be down to the upper 30s and low 40s. And then we're waking up in the low to mid 40s as we head through the weekend to the beginning of next week, where we see our high temperatures staying mainly in the upper 60s. So not a washout by any means for your Wednesday or Thursday, but be prepared for the passing shower as a possibility out there. Otherwise, have a great Wednesday. Your latest news and weather updates are always available on your website, carolinalive.com.